interpreting the words from my abuser. He says, you don't love me like you used to. Translation, you don't love me like let me control you, like let me wipe the tears from your face, soak your pain into my skin, call it hydration, leave you yearning for a drink of your self-respect back so you'll keep coming back, hoping I'll allow you a sip of the person you used to be, he says. I love you, Bella. Translation, I need you, Bella, like carpenter needs tree, like chisel the pieces from you, so that the pieces that are missing from me, they never fit perfectly. Why don't you fit perfectly, Bella? Do I need to cut into you again? Is that what you want? Me to cut you, scrap wood, light you on fire? Love hurts, bitch. He says, let me make love to you. Translation, like let me force myself onto you. It makes my ego feel good. Like the no's become harder to hear when you're trained to interpret them as playing hard to get. Like the night after your abortion when you said you were too broken to be intimate but I, a man with needs, can fuck you whole again. He says, don't leave me, Bella. Translation. Don't let me have to look at myself and see all I have done. The mirror is a scary place for me. I'd rather reflect my demons onto you. Make them your fault. You haven't finished fixing me yet. He says, you haven't finished fixing me yet. He says, you haven't finished fixing me yet. Fix me, Bella, Bella, fix me. He says, you'll be nothing without me. Which is funny. Because look at how something I am to your nothing is that I took some things and finally left you with nothing. But if I am nothing without you, I love it. The sweet taste of nothingness, the blank space of new beginnings, the freedom of nothingness on my back, watch me build myself from the ashes of this scrap wood. He says, why don't you ever write a poem about me? Well, I did. Here it is. Sign, love Bella. Read it and weep. Give it up one more time for Bella.